Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 5. So since we're now midway through the year, little less than just a couple of months until the release of the Series 5. And if we take a look at the previous Apple Watch launches, we see that they do indeed get released every single year, annually, just like a smartphone. So if you're questioning if you should wait for the Series 5 Apple Watch, or if you're debating if you go ahead and pick up the Series 4, Let's go ahead and review some of the stuff that we know so far about the Series 5 and we'll discuss more if it's worth waiting or just go out and grab the Series 4. So a quick review of my Series 4. To this day, this thing is still one incredible piece of hardware. It's the only smart wearable out there that actually has a built-in ECG and it's the only device that actually has some safety features like fall detection which is great for the elderly. And the S4 processor that the Series 4 has is still respectfully quick. Even on the beta version of watchOS 6, this thing performs very smoothly. But being the next generation Series 5, yes, of course, that one's gonna have a better processor. So for that reason, you might be better off just holding off. But yesterday, I came across a very interesting article on 9to5Mac, which showed that Apple just recently filed a patent this pattern, what it looks like, is a camera innovation that's possibly coming to the Apple Watch. But if I were to give my opinion, uh, I don't think this will actually come out with the, alongside the Series 5. A few reasons. One is that this device, or this prototype, is too early in the development. There's no way it's going to make it in time for it to be consumer ready during the launch of the Series 5. And also, during WWDC, when they gave us the first look of WatchOS 6, also the beta software for it there's no mention of any new innovation for facetime or new camera controls in the applications to support this camera ban so if this ban would to come out it'll probably come out sometime 2020 when we get watch os 7 and also this ban can also just technically be an accessory an add-on which could be supportive to be used on the series 4 but the patent design to this apple watch ban is really unique actually because what it looks like from the images, it looks like you go, it allows you to actually take the band off and allow it to become a front facing camera. And you can also wrap it around to be a forward facing camera when taking forward photos or videos. So because of that, I don't think this will come out alongside with the Series 5. Especially since the Series 5 is most likely going to get launched with watchOS 6 already pre-installed. And then when it comes to the overall design for the Series 5, it's most likely it's gonna resemble the exact same body style like the Series 4. Dimensions might be tweaked or altered just a little, but it should share the same design overall. The reason why I think this design is gonna carry over to the Series 5 is because unlike the Series 4, when the Series 4 designers finally redesigned the entire body, leaks was spraying out like wildfire as soon as that design got confirmed. And since we haven't seen this with the Series 5, it's less likely this will happen. So just like the Series 0, that Apple Watch body style continued all the way up to the Series 3. It was until the Series 4 is when we saw the major redesign. So maybe in a couple more years, we'll see a new body. But however, an interesting change that might happened to the series 5 apple watch what some reporters are reporting is that we are expected to get a new solid state button power button for the series 5. remember like the iphone 7 before it had a clickable clickable home button then got replaced by a solid state hectic feedback button when pressed it will give you a vibration simulating like a click there has been reports that the new Series 5 is going to get a solid state button as well, which I think will be definitely interesting. And then when it comes to the display, according to Mac rumors, they have been reporting that Apple has no intention to switch to an LCD screen. And quote, according to a reliable Apple analytics, Minchi Kuo, the Apple Watch Series 5 coming in September 2019 will feature a new ceramic casing design suggesting that a possible return of the Apple Watch edition. So if we recall the Series 3 Apple Watch, there was a Apple Watch edition, which came with a cool ceramic body. It's possible that we might see this new ceramic body continue to the Series 5. If so, I really hope they include a new color option. It will be pretty cool to get m more colors to choose from in that ceramic body material. So because of that, I think if you're a fan of the ceramic body, if you love that body structure like I did, I think it's actually worth waiting just a few more months 
to see what Apple will roll out for the Series 5. Because after all, pricing, I doubt it will change. It'll, it's highly likely that the pricing for the Series 5 Apple Watch will start at $399 and will go up from there. So unless you find an insanely good deal, like a good sell going on for the Series 4, if I didn't own this Series 4 Apple Watch, if I was like, if I was still on my Series 2, I wouldn't mind just waiting a couple more months. After all, during the release, that's when watchOS 6 is available, and watchOS 6 changes the entire experience on the Series Apple Watch since it's now more independent. So I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, September official watch OS 6 release but again if you find a ridiculously good deal maybe like 200 or 300 dollars just 300 dollars exactly for the series 4 apple watch 44 millimeter i think that's a really great deal because again it does get watch OS 6 but again if you're patient and you're paying the standard msrp price i think it's better you're better off just getting the series 5 and yes of course it's gonna have a bump in performance and there's a chance it could also get better battery life as well even though the series 4 can get up to like from my experience i'm able to get make it one full day and a half without having to charge this thing so if they do bump the performance and the battery life the efficiency if that thing if the series 5 can make it two days that will be incredible so that's why i think you might be better off just waiting off but that's just me talking let me know down in the comment section down below what's your opinions if you're in the market for a series 4 apple watch are you going to go ahead and pick one up or are you just gonna wait just a few more months until the official release for the Series 5? And if I do happen to encounter a ridiculously good deal that's too good to pass for the Series 4 Apple Watch, like a crazy sell, 50% off just to say, I'll be sure to pin that sell in the video description down below, like the in the comic section I should say. So be on the lookout if there's a sale going on. I'll go ahead and keep that link updated. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to quickly go over some reports, some rumors, and just talk about the Series 5, if it's worth waiting or not. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this video informative, useful, be sure to leave this video a like, as well as get subscribed if you enjoy seeing tech videos like this. But as always, thank you once again for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one.